I just had an epiphany. I just wanted to say this, you know, like a lot, I hear a lot of people online, they're talking about like, oh, you know, this music is so negative. And I've been this person too, you know, where you get like fixated on, oh, dang, they're pushing all this trap shit, this nasty, you know, negative derogatory stuff. But then I realized, you know why? That's what's being pushed because that's what you guys want. Because if it was not talked about, if there was not a enormous amount of need to be in the in the gossip and in the chisma chisme as my hispanic friends call it chisme or the drama the bullshit the the kool-aid all up in the kool-aid whatever you want to call it all up in the mess when you want to do that that's what companies who want to make money they don't have feelings this is monetary only baby what do you the consumer want maybe you need to upgrade your frequency i think that's really what's going on here. Hey guys, so I'm going to hold this microphone because it sounds better and that's the bottom line. So what's goody? I haven't done a vlog in a while. So I just had an epiphany. I'm sitting here and I was like, you know, what's so crazy. You know, what's so crazy is that a lot of us and I, I, I'm, I'm observing things online. This is not directed at anyone. This is not a shot. This is not even about people I know. This is about like the overall collective of humanity at this time. Right. And I just feel that people really have to do some mirror work, um, reflecting and maybe, um, you know, as I'm doing this, I need to as well. Right. Like I'm not a, above reproach, but the point is low key. I am, but, <laughs> um, I am a, a mirror. I, I have a line in one of my songs that says, like, I I just mirror all your fears when I appear. I loom and I leer. I steer the headlight to the deers. And when it's dark, all the stars align near. Zoom the limelight here. I'm the future. It is clear. Well, I'm um, at this point where we're just going to have those type of conversations because we're not going to. I mean, people are telling people that they're furry animals. Uh, so might as well tell you I'm a divine light source and uh Y'all better fucking start listening to me, listening to my music and supporting me because I have one purpose. That's to help this planet. So it would be of your best interest to, to go along and get on board or otherwise I'm not going to fucking help nobody and y'all doomed. <laughs> and I'm just going to have fun while I'm here in the meantime. Get it? Okay. Glad we have that conversation. Star child back on planet earth. Okay. Here to remodel the place. So, uh, we're gonna exterior decorate and interior decorate. So, let's start with the interior, which is the inner self, and we're gonna talk about how we're gonna fix that, right? Well, that's a god damn it. <laughs> that's the problem with everybody. Nobody wants to do the work. Everybody wants to blame white people. I'm white people. Hi, white. I'm white in the skin. This is a suit, guys. The body is a suit. The soul is the vessel, the source, the spirit. We are wearing suits. So if you're worried about what suit someone's wearing, you already missed the first step of the, 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 the objective. And so I sit in these lives on Instagram when I can, and I watch the um, so-called spiritual, whatever conscious they call themselves community, talk about these things. And I'm mind blown at the fact that people don't know what they're talking about and it's so blatantly and i don't take anything personal listen everyone has their own experiences on this planet and i'm in no way shape or form trying to diminish or take away from that okay i'm not saying there are bad white people because there are but what i'm trying to say is that there are also good white people right there's duality and everything there's balance there's yin there's yang there's good dogs mine are playing right now as you can see rainbow and dream um they're wrestling playing but there's also what bad dogs and and so what hap what makes a bad dog bad a bad experience trauma abuse 
failure from the people that we're supposed to protect and teach them and love them. It's the same thing with humans. I'm fully aware, you guys. Like what I, I'm trying to get at is that the way we're going to grow as a society and we are going to actually make change is we have to fucking heal. If we don't heal, we're never gonna evolve, period. I'm healed, baby. And I still have wounds that come up sometimes. The scab may start to bleed again, right? And so then I have to go back and that's when I do my inner work, really do it. And I had this epiphany at the end of last year, which was, because this is the social media stuff. And I don't fucking, I don't do well over here because I'm so powerful. <laughs> and in real life, nobody talks to me like that. Fatality. They don't because they don't want to. Number one, I'm a good fucking person. But number two, I will, I will, I will not be the one to be Fatality. on the bad side of it. Suggestion. Boop. And then we'll leave it at that. I don't hurt people, but I'm very connected to source. And what happens is I'm karma, baby. So you fuck with me and I'm pure of light and I do nothing but try to help people purely. And then you try to fucking do some shady shit to me. I don't got to do anything. God's got me. And karma's got you. So all jokes aside, I'm very sarcastic as well. I hope you guys can keep up. I'm a Virgo too. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so basically like, you know, already. Um, but the point is guys, all jokes aside is I'm self-deprecating because I know my flaws and I know that they're there. And I am, some of them I've learned to become friends with. So what I call them is your little demons. And we, a lot of people, what they try to do is they try to hide their little flaws, their demons, demons. Ooh, careful, baby. Okay. Rainbow careful. Um, she fell off the couch. Um, but at the end of the day, if you are going to run from them and they're inside of you, they're going to eat you alive. So <clears throat> what I've learned is to let them out and get it over with so you can is exercise them demons. Lyrically, exercise them. Not exorcism, but like exercise. <laughs> That's a good way to get rid of demons. Health as well. But yeah, like for real. So if you're getting out what it is by healing and owning it, that? right? Number one is you have to like admit you have a problem with something. Like, I know I have an attitude. I know I, I know I talk fast. I know certain things. Like there's things about me that I'm, people tell me like I'm dumb. Bitch, I, uh, do you know how old I am? Bruh. I, um, no, thanks. Because I've done the work. All this spiritual shit people woke up in 2020 when ironically, I lost my page in 2022 and on instagram like 50,000 followers for 11 years i had that page since like well i had the page since 2011 so whatever that ends up being 11 years i think 15,000 fucking posts and some retarded social media person reports me because they think i like trump because i'm white i don't know either i'm called a white liberal um because i have a black husband and i had pink hair or i'm called a white Trump supporter, da, da. I mean, it's I get called both ends of the spectrum. So what I realized is I'm gonna go fuck with both sides. Hello. Um, do you know who I am? Cool. You're gonna find out because the internet thinks they really fucking know shit. No, you guys don't know shit. You get to know what people want you to fucking know, you dumb hoes. And social media, um, my husband and I have been doing this also. So what you guys on the internet that think you know me, that just are new here, meaning you came here like 21, after tw if you're here from tw if you didn't know me before 2020 bitch you do not know me and i promise that now if you know me in real life that's a whole other i'm not talking about you people i'm talking about internet fucking fans basically fans the haters the fans they're really fans are or haters are really fans that are just intimidated they they haven't crossed over yet to admitting it just like they haven't plot twist dealt with their demons guys because they're fucking cowards that's why they have fake pages and they talk shit on the internet, right? But really you like something because where um, an energy goes, attention flows. So if you're focused, like I don't like somebody. I'm not fucking looking at this shit ever. Don't care. I really truly don't. I don't wish you even what ill will. I am. That's the opposite. See, you guys don't understand the opposite of hate is love. There's emotions. 
Because you care, bitch. You care, bitch. I don't care, bitch. And the more I've gotten older, I don't really care about a lot of y'all because you're fucking full of shit. And you have no self-accountability but think you fucking know everything and want to tell everyone else shit. When you don't even know who you're fucking talking to, the fucking caucasity, the audacity, the the blm acity i don't know whatever you guys are on humanity that's what i'm talking about because it's it's crazy so check yourself before you wreck yourself and we're gonna start with the mirror so go ahead and grab your phone your mirror wherever your local mirror is and i can point about out about 20 character flaws but listen like i said listen to my music it'll tell you all this already but what i also want you to know is that when you let them demons out you just own it if someone caught listen if you think i'm a da 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 insert whatever you want to stereotype me with bitch i'm that for you so what you get is what you ask for from me moving forward so if you want a demon baby i'll give you a demon see the hair already getting in mode or do you want the little angel that i am truly in the core or do you want the most highs uh, assigned uh, female assassin to step in? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's your choice, guys. So stop. Stop being weirdos. And this isn't just, I'm not talking about me. This isn't a me and you. Talk. This is an overall conversation. I am a mirror. I'm reflecting the, the consciousness of all right now i'm talking for the group like y'all we you're doing it to each other no one's innocent here <laughs> i was even before i fully came out of my snow white era and woke up i had to go some things <laughs> dark nights of the soul baby some depths you could never ever fathom I, i've been to wars you guys can never fathom i fought dragons slayed them and walk right past them seriously so I, I i know i look you know like i look and i think that's part of the, the the whole goal of what's happening you guys are focused and missing on a big fucking wealth of fucking knowledge because because you don't like the package well i don't fucking care if you like the package um but if you want it, you're going to have to like the package and the package is going to have to benefit in some way for the package to share because this crystal, you should watch that also on Netflix, Dark Crystal, the Skeksis steal the crystal and they want to use all its power. Well, the crystal's back in power and the crystal's not giving no one her power unless the crystal gets some fucking um, reciprocation. So go watch that movie or the, it's not a movie. It's a series on Netflix. It's by Jim Henson, by the Muppets. I know all these things i'm on episode three but i already know what where it's going because i know the story i know the ending i know the whole story already so i'm giving y'all uh a million dollars billion dollar trillion dollar crystal game worth information on these but i'm long-winded and most people are short attention spans so i get it i'm but i do want you guys to know i'm gonna leave it here if you get me you get me and if you don't get me i truly don't fucking care what you think. And um, instead of worrying about me, if you don't like me, then you should go find stuff you like and you should focus on that because truly life is too short to be uh, worrying about other people. If someone does not vibrate with me and my frequency, literally, I wish them no ill will or harm. I just wish they don't fucking be around me and i don't have to deal with it because it, it bothered i don't like low vibrational energy I'm, i like dolphin energy high fucking frequencies positive i like people to be happy i want to hear about your fucking triumphs baby i don't want to hear about your horrible misery i don't and i, I don't want to cancel you i'm not a therapist Okay, so I have so many stories my husband can attest. So I wanted to come on here to ultimately give you guys the goods at the end. Mike and I are starting a podcast. We order all the equipment. It's coming. Uh, we have to set up the other room in the house for it, the office space. We're going to convert it. So we're doing all that now. So I just want to let you guys know, once that's set up, I'll be dropping consistent content here on my channel and Ben's, And then also on Mike and Michelle TV, which you can find on 
my YouTube page. It's in the it's in there on the main page. If you go to my YouTube M Benz, it should show up like two other pages: Mike and Michelle, and I think Mike's uh, YouTube page. YouTube page is like recommended. Click Mike and Michelle TV. Um, we're going to be doing a podcast on there, having guests. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. It's going to be really set up. But what my point here on my Embeds page is not only will that content be coming out, we're going to do, I'm going to do content on it as well. And I'll have a setup because I had one. I still have my lights, but we were kind of like redecorating you guys a bit. So move the desks around the desk, not there. And so anyway, the podcast is coming, but that way I'll be able to do my own as well. Like I can just pop in like, you know, like when he's at work, like right now and just sit down and boom, it's already set up. Now I got to do is hit record. We're going to have the professional camera instead of the phone. Cause we have all the equipment we have, like we own a production company. So if you don't know about me, it shows because anyone that was here before 2020 knew all this stuff. I didn't have to explain this. Then all you new people came in and then act like I was new to the club when y'all was the new ones. Hello. Okay. Thank you very much for letting me get this off my chest. Um, I am a lyricist. I, my mind works a million miles a minute. I'm a direct source and I write. So my brain doesn't shut off. Sorry if I talk fast. Sorry if I have a lot of energy for you. That doesn't resonate too bad. I don't fucking care. Go somewhere else. Go watch the slow bus, short bus. I don't care. It doesn't offend me, but don't come over here with your negative energy and try to fuck my vibes up because then I'll have to fuck yours up and I don't lose. Okay. So just leave me alone. That's the best. Just fucking get off. The shit I've heard from white people on this app, Republicans, the shit I've heard from black people on this app, liberals. I mean, the shit I've heard, period, from humanity, whether they're talking out the side of their neck, which they are irrelevant what makes you even say those things so we're gonna have some universal conversations and we'll be having them here with my podcast is set up fully it's gonna look lit and then i'll have an actual mic i won't be doing this and then mike has um his setup we'll be doing stuff together he'll be doing his sports stuff because he likes to do his little sports stuff so that will be his own little vibe and yeah so it's coming the the motions in the ocean and uh we're out we're setting sail so get ready um, like I said, Mike and Michelle TV, subscribe. Appreciate your guys' support. I know I talk a million miles a minute. I smoked a little weed. I do smoke herbal, medicinal, marijuana is legal in California. And I don't fucking care anymore. Like I said, what people think. I don't do it every day. I don't. Do, so for all you judgmental weirdos, no, I don't give a fuck what you think. It's when someone's, I said one day I smoked. Oh, what? What do you mean? What, bitch? Are you f like, bro? First of all, do you know anyone that walks around? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, because I'm not fat because I actually eat right. And I take care of myself. <laughs> Please, we're not on that time anymore. So I'm saying this because I'm excited and I appreciate y'all that do get me and you love and support me and you know that I'm just M. Benz and I'm fall alike and I don't hurt unless you want to get burned. Then I will happily get rid of that issue and we move on we go back to being a ball of light so don't get burned wear your spf if you need to and uh let's have some fun and let's actually heal the world and awaken people that's ultimately the goal here guys i have no desire to be famous i really don't but i have to be honestly like it's really i've tried I've, we've worked with artists for 10 years i've developed and done a bunch of shit a lot of people have careers doing great not because of just me but i'm saying we guided we did you know they have the talent we help guide, develop, build, blah, blah, blah. Now, our point is, not everyone's a leader. I gotta lead, bro. It's calling and I'm here and so we're gonna do it and everyone else can win too. I win whether I'm on camera or off camera. And I really just have to be fully not giving a fuck like I do in real life because people that know me know me. And I, I'm this way in real life. So I'm going to be the real Michelle fully, which is not totally professional all the time. Sometimes, but not all the time. You're going to get different people, different energy, because that's I'm not one dimensional. OK. And so that's it. And, and as simple and I will send this out again if somebody missed the memo, so I don't have to keep repeating it. But I just want to be clear because I am not the problem. I solve problems, I'm solutionary, visionary, I'm revolutionary. 
and I'm, I'm also a strawberry. I'm also, no, I'm just kidding. So my point is this, don't give a fuck. So you're gonna get the real all the way through. We're gonna have fun though, and I'm back, you guys. So anybody that worked with me before that's watching this, all my star kids, we're back, bitches, let's go. I'm not going to play small anymore. Unless it's in my, when I'm stepping on the scale, okay? When I'm on the scale, I'm light. And when I'm out in these streets, light also, but all the Republicans that tried to stop this uh, can suck a dick. Thank you. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. And that's real talk because that happened too. And you see my finger? <laughs> so this is the little funny stuff you guys will enjoy watching my program. Get programmed the right way with M. Benz. Mike and Michelle TV coming soon. Ta-ta for now. Oh, wait, one last thing.